In this video, we'll talk about moving and aligning components in space uh, without permanently constraining them in their new positions. So when I'm looking at the home mountain bike, I see that I have some parts here that are moved out of alignment. And so if I push the home button here, I can zoom in and see them a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is expand the swing arm assembly group and I'm going to isolate the component group bearing assembly swing arm to frame. Next I want to move the component of the bushing, so I'm going to click on it. And over here on the browser, I'm going to go through and find where it's highlighted. I'm going to right click on its component and choose move. For the, D, the Z distance, I'm going to choose negative 20 millimeters, and I'm going to click OK. So what we've done here is we've moved this component and not just the body, so its origin is now realigned with the global origin. And at the same time, we've only moved it. We haven't constrained it to where it currently is, and so we can go back and move it anywhere that we want. There's no, um, there's no forces that are saying we can't change that movement that we just moved it to. Um, another way to move things is to align them. And so let's say to get this bearing in between these two, fa uh, these two parts here, I'm going to want to align it. And so to do that, I'm going to use the Align tool underneath the Modify menu. And I'm going to click on the two faces that I want to align. And the first face that I click on, which in this case is going to be the outside of this bearing, is going to always move towards the second face that you click on, which is going to be uh, the inside of that bushing there. It's going to automatically align it. I can say OK. And now we'll see that we have these aligned parts. Uh, and again, this is only moving it in space. It's not constraining it in space.